Haas is the first Formula One team to reveal its 2020 car. The Ferrari engine VF20 features a return to the team's pre-2019 colour scheme, as well as visible technical changes it hopes will cure the problems that ruined its last campaign. Last year's problem was an aerodynamic one that led to much-discussed tyre struggles during the season. The car worked well at higher speeds, but despite a strong front end in terms of downforce, at low and medium speeds, the rear aero tended to stall. This meant less rear grip, and therefore more sliding, working the tyres harder and often leading to the Haas cars dropping back from strong positions during the races, especially in hotter conditions. Haas's launch specification front wing moves away a little from the loaded outboard concept it used last year. While Red Bull and Mercedes made this concept, which maximises the size of the front wing, work well, teams such as Haas struggled owing to the complexity of controlling the resulting airflow to the rest of the car. With the VF20, it's a move to more of a middle ground, with the outer ends of the front wing elements sweeping downwards. This is to help create more outwash around the front tyres, as well as working with the outwash from the barge boards to help seal the underfloor. This should also help to reduce the overall drag of the car, given the front wheels contribute significantly to this. Last year, the Haas was one of the highest drag cars and struggled on the straights as a result. The front wing elements themselves have fairly similar cord lengths, so it should be easier to control the front wing stall characteristics when it gets closer to the ground. There is also a change of airbox shape from oval to the triangular style Ferrari used last year. This also incorporates the main rollover bar structure, making it triangular is more efficient in terms of weight, helping to lower the centre of gravity. Just as in 2019, Haas is running a reasonably high rate car. Although Red Bull's approach is more extreme, Haas is aiming to achieve a happy medium that it hopes will satisfy both the mechanical and aerodynamic demands across a range of corner speeds. The bargeboard area is ever more critical to the performance of the car since last year's front wing rule change, making this an enormously complicated part of the car. It's difficult to pick out the detail from the images released so far, but these areas now comprise a vast number of components and surfaces that must all work together. For example, the slots on the floor in front of the rear tyre are defined and totally dependent on how the airflow comes around the front tyres. When you consider that the front tyres are always on the move with varying steering lock, this is no easy task to define and keep working consistently. Comparing the overhead shot of the 2020 car to last year's, Haas appears to have moved the rear axle further back. Last year, Haas moved the front axle forward and left the rear axle alone. Moving the front forward increases the distance between the front wheels and the side pods, improving the airflow in this area. It will also increase the mechanical vertical and lateral load on the front axle and increase it on the rear axle, which will stabilise the car under braking. Leaving the front axle alone and moving the rear axle rearwards will have the opposite effect. No change on the aerodynamics around the leading edge of the slide pods, but potentially improving the coke bottle to rear tyre interaction. It also increases the length of the underfloor, which should increase underfloor downforce. The mechanical vertical and lateral load on the rear axle will also be reduced, perhaps making it less good under braking, but it will reduce the lateral load on the rear tyres in slow and medium speed corners before the aerodynamics become the dominating factor. Given Haas had a problem with overworking the rear tyres, this is a sensible move. Haas continues to use the latest specification Ferrari V6 hybrid turbo engine and gearbox as well as sourcing many of the non-listed components from the Italian manufacturer. The aerodynamic design work is done by Dallara, which uses the Ferrari wind tunnel. Haas has clearly made changes with this car to correct the problems of last year, which appear to start with a loaded outboard front wing and its struggles to control the airflow to the rest of the car. The key question is whether it has fully understood the problem and that the changes have made the correct impact.